Dorkerdo, also known as The Way of Walking Alone, is a set of 21 principles written by Miyamoto Musashi, the famous Japanese swordsman and author of The Book of Five Rings. These principles provide guidance on how to live a meaningful and fulfilling life based on Musashi's own experiences and observations. Welcome to Black Rock Inspired. Miyamoto Musashi was a legendary Japanese swordsman, philosopher, and author who lived from 1584 to 1645. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest swordsmen in Japanese history. Musashi was born in the province of Minasaka, Japan, and began his training as a swordsman at a young age. He is said to have fought in over 60 duels and never lost a single battle. Dorkordo was a short project by Miyamoto, written a week before he died. It contains 21 principles that express his personal view on life. In this video, we are going to go through all 21 of them. So let's get started. Number one, accept everything just the way it is. This emphasizes the importance of accepting and adapting to the present circumstances without resistance or complaint, regardless of whether they are favorable or not. When we accept things as they are, it also allows us to be more open-minded and flexible with our plans and expectations. This gives us the ability to adjust accordingly when life throws us a curveball. Number two, do not seek pleasure for its own sake. It advocates for living a balanced life where one does not prioritize seeking pleasure and material comfort above all else. Instead, it encourages finding fulfillment and meaning through personal growth and serving others. By not being overly attached to pleasure, one can avoid becoming distracted from their goals and maintain a sense of peace and stability. Number three, do not, under any circumstances, depend on a partial feeling. This principle emphasizes the importance of avoiding excessive attachment or dependence on any particular emotion, mood, or impulse. It suggests that one should strive to maintain a balanced and detached perspective making decisions based on reason and judgment, rather than letting their emotions control their actions. By not being swayed by partial feelings, one can maintain a clear and level-headed approach to life. Number four, think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. This principle encourages humility and a focus on the greater good. By thinking lightly of oneself and their own ego, one can avoid becoming overly attached to personal interests and instead focus on understanding the world around them and serving others. This principle emphasizes the importance of broadening one's perspective and seeing the interconnectedness of all things. Number five, be detached from desire your whole life long. The principle of being detached from desire emphasizes the importance of cultivating a non-attached mindset in order to achieve peace, focus, and inner balance. This perspective recognizes that our desires, wants, and materialistic pursuits can often lead to frustration, disappointment, and feelings of emptiness. By practicing detachment, one can focus on what truly matters and avoid the distractions and negative consequences that can come with excessive desire. Number six, do not regret what you have done. This encourages acceptance of one's past actions and a focus on the present moment. Regretting the past can be a source of negativity and prevent one from moving forward. Instead, one should focus on learning from their experiences and using them to make better decisions in the future. By not regretting what has been done, one can maintain a positive outlook and a sense of peace. Number seven, never be jealous. This encourages avoiding feelings of envy or resentment towards others and their achievements. Jealousy can lead to negative emotions and hinder personal growth. Instead, this principle suggests that one should focus on their own goals and progress and learn from the experiences and successes of others. Number eight, never let yourself be saddened by a separation. This encourages resilience and acceptance of change. Separations and goodbyes can be difficult, but one should not allow these experiences to cause prolonged sadness or negative emotions. Instead, one should focus on embracing new opportunities and experiences that come from these changes. Number nine, hold no grudges against yourself or others. This principle encourages forgiveness and a letting go of negative emotions. Holding grudges can cause stress, 
bitterness, and conflict, both with oneself and with others. Instead, you should strive to forgive and move forward, recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and has flaws. Number 10. Resentment and complaint are appropriate neither for oneself nor others. Resentment is an emotion that can lead to a feeling of bitterness, hostility, or anger towards someone or something. Complaining usually involves expressing dissatisfaction about a particular thing or situation. Both of these behaviors can take up a lot of energy, leaving us feeling drained and preventing us from seeing potential opportunities that may come our way. Number 11. Do not let yourself be guided by the feeling of lust or love. This principle encourages avoiding excessive attachment to physical or emotional desires, as these feelings can often cloud our judgment and cause us to make decisions that we may later regret. Instead, it is best to take a step back and really assess the situation objectively before making any major commitments. This will help prevent us from making rash choices that could negatively impact our lives in the long run. Number 12. In all things have no preferences. This principle encourages avoiding bias or attachment to specific outcomes. Having preferences can cause disappointment and negatively impact decision making. Instead, you should approach situations with an open mind and remain neutral, allowing for a clear and objective perspective. By having no preferences, one can maintain flexibility and a positive outlook in all aspects of life. Number 13. Be indifferent to where you live. This principle emphasizes the importance of being adaptable and not becoming attached to one's physical surroundings. Instead, one should focus on the people and experiences that bring meaning to their life, rather than the location or circumstances. By being indifferent to where they live, one can maintain a sense of peace and independence regardless of their circumstances. Number 14. Do not pursue the taste of good food. Pursuing the taste of good food can lead to excessive indulgence. It is best to cultivate mindfulness and moderation in our eating habits, ultimately promoting physical and mental well-being. Self-discipline and control in our food intake helps us maintain balance in our lives and prevents us from being controlled by our desires and cravings. Number 15. Do not hold on to possessions you no longer need. This encourages simplicity and letting go of excess. Holding on to possessions that are no longer useful can lead to clutter and distractions, and can also be a burden both physically and mentally. Instead, one should focus on necessities and maintain a minimalistic approach to possessions. Number 16. Do not act following customary beliefs. This encourages independent thinking and breaking free from societal norms and conventions. Acting based solely on customary beliefs can limit personal growth and creativity and can also lead to conformity and a lack of individuality. Instead, one should strive to question established norms and make decisions based on personal judgment and experience. This way one can maintain an innovative and authentic approach to life. Number 17. Do not collect weapons or practice with weapons beyond what is useful. This principle emphasizes the importance of practicality. Collecting weapons or excessive practice with weapons can lead to distraction and becoming obsessed, rather than serving a practical purpose. Instead, one should focus on mastering the weapons that are necessary and useful. Number 18. Do not fear death. This principle encourages facing one's own mortality with courage and acceptance. Fear of death can limit personal growth and create stress and anxiety, causing a lack of focus and purpose in life. Instead, one should focus on living a fulfilling life and accepting death as a natural part of the cycle of existence. By not fearing death, one can cultivate a sense of peace and liberation, allowing for a more meaningful and joyful life. Number 19. Do not seek to possess either goods or fiefs for your old age. This principle encourages avoiding excessive attachment to material possessions and wealth. Saving everything for the end in mind encapsulates this perfectly. Also, you can be in danger of becoming overly dependent on these items, which could lead you down a path toward financial insecurity. One should focus on living in the present moment and cultivating a sense of contentment, rather than striving for future material security. Number 20. Respect Buddha and the gods without counting on their help. 
This principle encourages a balance between spirituality and self-reliance. Relying solely on the help of a higher power can lead to a lack of personal responsibility and growth, while neglecting spirituality can lead to a lack of purpose and meaning in life. Instead, one should strive to respect and honor spiritual beliefs while also taking personal responsibility and relying on one's own efforts. By balancing spirituality and self-reliance, one can cultivate a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. 21. You may abandon your own body, but you must preserve your honor. This principle emphasizes the importance of personal integrity and ethics. Physical death is an inevitable part of life, but one's honor and reputation can endure beyond death. Abandoning one's own body to escape harm or danger may seem like a survival tactic, but it is not worth losing one's dignity and respect in the eyes of others. Dorkrado by Miyamoto Musashi offers valuable insights into the mindset of a warrior and provides a unique perspective on living a disciplined and ethical life. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the way of walking alone. If you did, please leave a like and comment below to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. Thank you for watching.